cool. Oh, and it's on. <laughs> Why do actors act? I'm Paul Moon with the uh, New York Times Facebook Live team. I'm an actor myself and I'm doing an in-depth series of interviews to figure out why do actors and artists and directors, why do they all do what they do? Um, today I'm with Ato Asando. How you doing? Who I'm sure you recognize, you've most likely seen him in something. He's done Blood Diamond, HBO's Vinyl, um, Person of Interest, Elementary, mm -hmm. um, Django Unchained. I yeah. mean, Google him. You'll, you'll most likely have seen him in something. <laughs> um, so while, while we're talking, I've got some questions of my own for Ato. Mm -hmm. But Facebook Live audience, please put them in the comments. I'll get them. And we'll select some questions to ask him yourself, all right? Sweet. So my first one is, yeah. when did you realize you wanted to be an actor? Uh, it's, a, it's a funny story because uh, when I, 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 I grew up not really knowing what acting was, mm -hmm. not having a family that was uh, in the arts at all. We're all engineers and doctors and so forth. So uh, by the time I got to college, I was studying chemical engineering and just on a lark, uh, my girlfriend at the time uh, dared me to do a play. And I did the play and it just opened up a whole world for me. It was like the first time I felt like I belonged somewhere in a very strange way. And so it just stuck with me. I, I graduated and got my chemical engineering degree and all that stuff, but like it just kept sort of sticking in my craw. And okay. so maybe like three, four years later, I found myself back in New York City and then I started taking classes with the acting studio. Uh, uh, under James Price, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I started, and then once I started taking those classes, then I was like, oh, this is, there's something here that I want. Was this yeah. play with the university you were at, or was this like a community theater? Yeah, no, it was uh, with the university, I was at Cornell, and uh, the, uh, the Chinese Student Association was doing a play, and they randomly needed me, or somebody who looked like me, to do a scene uh, that had to do with a blind date uh, with one of their actors. So again, imagine like the, it's a Chinese student association, so it's all Asian people in the cast. Uh -huh. Maybe five of my friends show up, including you know my girlfriend and uh, you know my chemical engineering mm -hmm. guys, who are just gonna they're just gonna make fun of me because what are you doing on <laughs> right, stage right, right. now? Uh, and and the rest of the 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 the, the audience is Asian. Uh, we had one night, and uh, if you imagine a scene where there's, uh, I, I'll never forget her name, Tai Tan, because she was an actual actress, and I was just a guy mm. who was like, I'm just a chemical engineer. I don't, mm. I don't know what any of this means. Mm -hmm. uh, but she was so lovely and giving to me. But, you know, lights up on Tai Tan on stage, and she's on the phone, and she's like, yeah, I'm going on this blind date. The guy's name is Harrison. He plays soccer. Mm. I'll tell you how it goes, and then knock, knock, knock on the door. So you're thinking... You're not thinking I'm walking on stage, you know, six foot four black guys right, walking on stage. So right. as soon as I walk on stage, everybody's like, whoa, in this nice, like warm <laughs> sure. way. Yeah. And it went through me like electricity, like I'm, I'm reliving it right now. It was such an amazing moment for me. Yeah. And the whole scene was funny and I had so much fun with it. And I remember Ty just like showing me how to cheat out and block you know blocking yeah, like yeah. when the director was like oh here's the blocking of the scene uh -huh. and i'd be like what's blocking and she'd be like that's the uh, that's uh, the, the the traffic of the scene i'd be like okay got it you know what i mean so she was <laughs> so my first brand spanking new brand spanking no i've never done anything training, like that just nothing nothing and so then suddenly i was like oh this is this is a you can make a living out of this this is what yeah. oh this is what denzel washington does this is what meryl streep does like i never thought of them as this is a career. Uh -huh. You know, I've come from a family, again, doctors and right. lawyers, and that's what you're supposed to do. So, All right. you know, now I'm an actor. Yeah. yeah. And then you <laughs> said you went from Cornell, you moved back to New York City. Yes. So tell us the history of, I mean, what is that, from like 22 to now, basically being in New York? Yes, yes, yeah, essentially, what, yeah. What, mm -hmm. What's that story? Oh, it's a, that's a long story. So I'm in my 40s now, so the last 20 years has been pursuing acting. Um, so the first thing uh, I, I started doing, like I was taking classes and just learning what the craft of acting uh -huh. was. And I did a couple of years of that, and then I got out of, uh, I, I started trying to pursue the actual career. Yeah. But like, how do you do that? I, I got as many resources as I possibly mm -hmm. could. I remember being on the uh, train. 
I forget when Backstage comes out. Maybe it's like well, Tuesdays it's or something. It's no not, longer. It's no print. longer. <laughs> but remember, when it yeah. was in print, that's right. how old I am. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I would get the backstage on, let's say, the Tuesday, and I'd have my headshots and resumes, uh -huh. and I'd on the train, I'd be circling with a you know a marker which things I'd want to be submitted for, mm -hmm. and then by the time I got off the train, I had my Manila envelopes, and I'd sent everything out and all that stuff, and that was for months and months and months. And then I started, a, um, I guess, auditioning for theater companies. Mm -hmm. um, and I got one where uh, I met a mutual friend of ours, Joshua James, and mm -hmm. I started doing plays with him. Uh, and then I started to write myself uh, because he, on his suggestion, he was like, you should write plays. I'm like, what? Write really? plays? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, in fact, I did a play of his, a monologue uh, uh, play of his. Uh, well, well so I, sh I, should, I should back up. I did a play of his called Tall Boy Walking, uh, right. which was a fantastic, amazing play. Mm. And this is my first introduction to this writer, Joshua James. And I was like, this is great. And he said, yeah, I have something else coming up, but I don't think I have a part for you. And I was like, oh, man, I want to do your next play. And so he goes, well, I'm writing this monologue. Uh, I only have the first line. I only have the last line. If you can fill in everything, mm -hmm. then uh, you have the part. And yeah. so I, essentially, I finished the monologue. I gave it to him, and he goes, this is great. You should write. And I was like, really? And then that started me on writing my own plays and so forth. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. So that's like the beginning part of the journey. Yeah. And then finally I got like a manager and an agent. And, and started then rolling. started rolling from there. Yeah. yeah but it's been long. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a question from the Facebook audience yes. from Kelly Jane. She says, hey, what's Kelly. your dream role in a play? Oh, in a play. Um, I don't think it's been written yet. Uh, um, I, I'm a big proponent of new work. Okay. Yeah, uh, and so like aforementioned, uh, uh, the play, uh, Joshua James' play, Tall Boy Walking, there's the character that I played was Paul, and he was like this sort of uh, really sort of dedicated military man. Sounds like me. There, there you Paul. go, there you go, Paul, Paul, Paul Moon, there, there you know go. what I mean? Maybe it was written for you. <laughs> And so, like, I, I think that I discover, I, I've had the, the opportunity to discover new parts like that. Uh -huh. And I realize that uh, it's not about wanting to, let's say, necessarily play Othello, which is a great part. But um, there are dream roles that I don't think have been written yet. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that to answer Kelly's question. Thank you, Kelly. Good question. Yes. Yeah. And um, we have another one from David Katz. He says, mm -hmm. how do you deal with nerves on stage and set? Ah, see, nerves on stage are actually good if you can handle them. Nerves, there's a problem. If you have nerves, that's the energy of performance. That's what gets you out on that stage. You should never nerves because mm -hmm. that's the, that's the. Once you realize that that is a part of the body. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Good question, yeah. David. Yeah. Um, another one. You're gonna. I. I am also dying to know. Yeah. Why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Leo Germain says, "Did vinyl get canceled?" I love the show too. Uh, it got canceled. Uh, yeah. It got picked up, uh, and then it got canceled because. 